Hello, hello. Let's get this game launched. I can't wait to play it. I, like, just have been seeing so many other people playing the base game lately, and it's had me itching to play the DLC. I've had it for a little while, and I've just been, like, waiting. Waiting for the right, right opportunity. Um, smidgen nervous, because when I launched the game, it said that my save file was corrupted. Um, I did a little bit of troubleshooting, didn't seem to help. Uh, and then I tried copying the backup save into where it pulls the save data from. That didn't work. Uh, but then I loaded up the game and it was fine. It had all my save data, so I don't know. Maybe it'll just be fine. But my plan... See, there there we go. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But my plan is that we'll play a little bit. Exit to the main menu after a saving point and just see if that data is still there. If it's not, I'll just start a new save. It's not the end of the world. Um, but hopefully we won't have to do that. The game also did warn me that I'm in for a bit of a fright. When I launched it, it was like, there's... there, there You know, it, so if it gets too scary, you can turn it down. I'm gonna try not to. And try I'm gonna, gonna try not to. I, I can handle Soma on normal mode. Hopefully I can handle this. I I, I don't know. <laughs> it remains to be seen. Um But yeah. I'm I'm excited. I feel like we should just go ahead and resume our expedition. I really hope the save stuff isn't going to be an ongoing issue, but we'll we'll see. We will see. It's really cool that they put this game on Game Pass too. It, I think it doesn't include the DLC on Game Pass, but like the base game is reaching so many more people now, and that's really cool to see. Good morning, us. Uh, here we are. It's been so long. Hey, buddy. How you doing? There's our pilot. Ready to get this beauty off the ground? What can I do for you? Uh, I think this is all the same. Moonlit Lark, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Uh, keep getting killed by ghost matter. Uh, not if you use your scout to detect it, you won't, you dumb idiot. <laughs> Did you think I made that just so you could take pretty little pictures of trees? It has multiple uses. You do know that you can use it as a light source, right? Stars above, please tell me you knew that. Ah, oh, same old timber hearth. I remember this rock. It was the first step I ever took during my first gameplay. I disabled cloud sync when I did the save copyright. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. No, no, I did not. Is that something I need to do? Because it was the same... It had the same date on it. Same time and date. Who knows? Just exercising. Hope you enjoy the DLC. Thank you. I'm really looking forward... Forward to it. Oh yeah. Oh no! Oh, fuck! Uh, yeah, it's fine. We're gonna. How do I leave? B is leave. There we go. Haha. -ha. 
Yeah, KY, the, uh, on the first Google Hip Hound of note, you need to disable cloud syncing for this to work. That was not on the troubleshooting that I found. Uh, hmm, I wonder if I should give that a try real quick before I, uh, dive into this, you know? Not like I've done very much. You know what, let's try it. Let's just, let's just quit here for a second. But yeah, if this doesn't work, I'm not going to troubleshoot it again. I'm just going to leave it. We'll just either start a new game um, or something. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, bummer. All right, um, so I guess we'll just resume. I, I think it's an issue with the DLC rather than like my save file, something happened to it. I think it was more with the installation of the DLC is my guess. But it is like when I copy it over, it's, it's staying the same time, the exact timestamp. So it seems like it is actually updating. Who knows? Who knows? I think the only part that I would be a little bit disappointed with is that I think my save on the base game is a hundred percent like i have all of the uh ship logs i if i'm missing any it's like entire areas that i never found or something like that all right but uh it also said when i launched the game for the first time that there was someone in town to talk to so i'm gonna track them down I'm not sure who it was. I didn't read it that carefully. hey -o, hatchling. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure among the stars. When you return, let's uh, you, me, go and open up a bottle of the good stuff. Uh, I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Uh, so I probably have to go up to the observatory. There was one other thing that I kind of wanted to check out. Uh, but I need, I need a suit first. So I'm... After all of my months post playing this game of watching other people play it i've like seen little tiny bits and pieces of things that i didn't do that now i'm like oh i want to try that one of those things is to go down that geyser and i just need this suit to do so all right Ugh. Oh, I have to remember how to use the, like, flashlight and stuff. There's like a bunch of a bunch of stuff in here that got thrown in. I bet if I go up there, I'll be stuck. Maybe not. Yeah, I didn't think there was anything in here. 
but I was super curious. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's so weird. I can't go up. Uh, all right, back down we go. Can I go up this one? Now I'm just testing stuff. I'm just curious. Oh. Okay, so this one I'm not... I see. That one I just hit air. The other one it didn't seem obvious that I hit air. Sweet. Where am I? Get my bearings. That's where I want to be. There's the flashlight. Hornfells. Owl. This all looks the same. No new planets yet. said that there was something about the lab that was new. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? <sighs> Me too. Not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with the statue. Was there something you needed? Uh, I found Felspar. You found Felspar? And they're in dark bramble? Stars above. This is wonderful news. Thank you. Thank you for finding them. That Felspar didn't immediately join you on your ship and return here is incredibly Felspar of him. <laughs> Walter, hello! We were never entirely sure what Felspar was thinking back then, either. Still, we ought to fish him out of that dreadful place with haste. I'll radio Gossen and have them prepare a ship. It should really be Gossen who brings Felspar home. Again, thank you. You can hardly imagine how profoundly happy I am to hear that they're alive and unharmed. That's something else I needed. No thanks, I'm good. Take care. This was about to come find you. Look, look, look. You've got to see this. The Nomai statue... Uh, the Nomai statue's eyes are open. They, uh, used to be closed. Probably should have started with that, and now they're open. We're not sure why they opened, since no one actually saw it happen, but this is huge news. Should someone tell Gabro? Or maybe Ryback? Oh, stars, this is exciting. Making my stomach hurt. All right, but where is the guy that I have to talk to, though? Where is... Where are they? Walter, have you played the DLC yet? Got the ghost matter. You have. Nice. Yeah, I, I hope that I don't run into any issues. I'm mildly concerned because the game says my save is corrupted. And I tried some troubleshooting and it didn't work. Uh, at least I'm still getting the error. Hmm? Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? Using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. Set to Out Outer Wild Ventures frequency so I can pick up the traveler's music. 
Last night I heard Ryback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. Ooh, uh, critical hits. Critical hits! Uh, I was like, do I have to pause? Holy shit! <laughs> As I don't want to spoil anything. Oh, thank you so much for the raid. I didn't get the... I didn't hear the thing. I saw the thing before I heard the thing. Hold up. Hold up. I'll give you a shout out. Just a second. Uh, da da da. Different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal soaps are cool. Ooh, doo -doo. All right, all right. Critical hits. Thank you so much for the raid. I am so glad that you're enjoying Outer Wilds um, because it is so good. Doing a new playthrough. I'm playing the DLC. I just started it. I haven't gotten to any new stuff for you, so don't don't even worry. But let me give you a quick shout out. I don't have a good system for this right now. Hold on. There we go. Big Mac Bandit, welcome in. Woo. There we go. And welcome in, view. Good to see you again. I was lurking in your stream pretty much the whole time. Um just making dinner and then eating dinner and stuff. You were going to do Hollow Knight, but then saw this pop up on Game Pass and couldn't help but play it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta. I'm so glad that you're enjoying it. Because I know it's like, it's a game that's not for everybody, but I just love it so much. Uh, do I have anything else to talk to this guy about before I leave? Uh, any good news from space today? There are. My signal scope is uh, set to the Outer Wilds frequency, so I'm listening to Traveler's music. Isn't that the same thing? Yeah, that was like the the same same thing. Okay. But Hollow Knight is also an excellent game. It is a challenging game, but it is excellent. I should have paid more attention to where I was. Sp you know what? We're just going to leave. <laughs> I want to get in the ship. I also am eager to... That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, fuck. I uh, hate to raid and rum beneath food. No, no, thank you so much for the raid. Enjoy your food. Dr. Sweetbound, it was great to see you. Pyro, thank you for the lurk. Uh, yeah, I'm, I am very much looking forward to the rest of your stream. <laughs> Wrong Twitch? I mean, yeah, it, it, it works. I, I knew who you were regardless. All right. Have a good night. Take it easy. Oh my God, that scared me so badly. I, I can't even get over it. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Let's, let's go to space. Okay. God. So I don't know anything about the DLC, uh, except one of the starting locations for it. I think. So we're gonna look around and see if we can find it. I still wanna talk to that new person or talk to the guy that I'm supposed to talk to, but. This is all the same. It would be lame if uh, the corrupted save file just meant that it didn't mesh well with the DLC and it couldn't load in the DLC data. That's something I'm minorly worried about. Oh, th wait, here we go, here we go. Ha ha! New stuff, something new. Heck yeah. 
All right, all right. Let's go. Neat. And we're recording! Ahem! This has been two days since the launch of Deep Space Satellite. I'm about to view the first batch of photos. Let's record show let the record show that on this historic day, Outer Wilds Adventures has Ha! Ah, they're printing! They're printing! Here they come! Stars above, will you look at that? There's Brittle Hollow. And look, look there! That's Hollow's Lantern. And there, Giant's Deep. And and the Quantum Moon! I'm speechless, completely speechless. Every single astral body in our magnificent solar system, looking stunning from every angle in each other, each of these three images, and in color, no less. Now, this is art. I could stare at these photos forever. Didn't, uh, doesn't Timber Hearth look tiny from... Hold on. What's that? That can't be right. That's... I mean, that's not even possible. Am I interpreting this photo correctly? What's even stranger is it doesn't show up on either of the other photos, just this one. Well, there must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. The only sensible explanation for it. I'll, ga uh, I'll radio Gabbro and ask him to go examine the satellite's lens for defects. What did he see? What did they see? Unidentified signal nearby. That's- that is not signal scope. I have to remember- there we go. far am I I don't really want to that's that's quite far a few thousand meters Trying to see if there's any like planets that look unusual here. I'm not sure what that is in the middle. It's there too. There's a guy. Uh there there's a guy? Okay. This one looks pretty normal. This one, not so much. Okay. So, the only clue I have right now... Is that getting... That's getting substantially closer. Alright, let's get in the sky. I have questions. radio tower. Okay. So another thing I want to try is I'm not sure if this has saved because I don't think it saves mid loop. So I guess we'll wait till the end of the loop and then I'm going to exit to the main menu and uh and we're going to find out if my corrupted save is that corrupted. Where'd it go? Where are you? Also, it's stuttering a little bit for me. Hold on. Graphics. Let's just go to medium on a couple of these. Just getting a little bit of stuttering. This seems 
like it's gonna take way too long. But, uh... Oh, wait, no, but I see something. Or is this something different? I've got questions. You got the corrupted save message once when you were loading in to play the DLC and it went away by the next time you went to play and everything seemed to work properly? Okay, well that, that, uh, eases my mind. What is... Sup? Let's just get out in the middle of space. It'll be fine. We have our suit on. We're good. I'm glad it wasn't just me, Walter. I would have been nervous if, like, if, I'm glad that someone else got the corrupted save and got it to work. Uh, Gabro here, checking in on the Deep Space Satellite per Ground Control's request to check out a possible equipment problem. See, Hornfells, I do work too. <laughs> I do too work. You know, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't mind being a satellite. It's peaceful out here, among the distant stars and the soft, velvety darkness. Bet it's awfully nice for naps too. Oh right, the lens. All right, little satellite, let's see what the trouble is. Huh. Everything looks A-OK, -okay, ground control. No dust or scratches on the lens, and no evidence of sparkling or violent explosions. Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction after all. Hear that, pal? You're in great shape. Keep up the good work out here. Aw. Okay. Unidentified signal nearby. Just the deep space satellite. That's just that, though. Oh! Is that just at Timber Hearth? I think that's just at Timber Hearth. Well, let's get on my ship before it gets too far away. I have additional questions. There are several uh, radio tower designed to retreat, receive photos taken by deep space satellite. There are several photos of the entire solar system hanging on the walls. Hornfells noticed something strange in one of the photos, but concluded equipment malfunction was the only sensible explanation. That's interesting that the satellite didn't pick anything up. Like, I didn't get any additional logs for it. Yeah, that is just... Uh... Timber Hearth, for sure. Is 
seeing if there's anything else coming up. I don't think so, though. Let's go back to our little cabin. Do you guys think I can go the whole DLC without crashing the ship? Probably not, but... Where did it go? There it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Turn around. Turn around. And we're back. That was a nice little field trip. With any luck, I can at least avoid boring crashes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there's like some sort of like eclipse here. Because if I look at this real close, we've got Timber Hearth with its moon. We've got... Dark Bramble, Brittle Hollow with Hollow's Lantern, Ember Twins, and I think that's the Quantum Moon, Giant's Deep, and the Comet. So that is what's new, I, I think, or that. Hey, buddy. All right. Um, one thing I was wondering is if something is just going to, like, show up even. This is a very cool view. Uh, let's see. Do I need uh, a hint and help? Nope. No, thank you. I'm gonna go as long as I can without any uh, any tips or tricks, and if I do need help, I will expressly ask chat for help. Thank you for asking. Appreciate it. Uh, da 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 da. Rumor mode. Uh, da da. Hmm. Hmm. I'm also just like slowly reminding myself what the actual controls are. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. I'm like, how do I get back to the map? I'll just hit every button until I figure it out. So just checking if something new is going to come around. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the satellite. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that's our little satellite, buddy. Um, I've got a weird idea, since I don't have very much to go on right now. I mean, it's not like we have time in this loop anyways, but to share my thought process, um, one thing we could do is go to the sixth location and see if there's a signal there. Come on. I want the quantum moon to spawn closer to me. <laughs> the satisfaction of working stuff out on your own is a big part of the enjoyment of this game. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's like, I love that aha moment, you know? Ah. 
Uh, the quantum moon just does not want to spawn where I want it to. There you are. Hey, it worked. Stream elements. <laughs> Stream elements, what are you doing? <laughs> Critical Hits Live, thank you for the host. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> now I hear the alert. St st stream Elements is just being weird. All right. This is gonna do anything. Oh no 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 no! Oh fuck! <laughs> damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Fuck! I held the button and it didn't help. Ah uh, crap! I overshot it. Damn it! God! I... Damn it! That's fine. That's fine. We're near the end of this loop, anyways. In fact, let's just meditate in floating in space until the next loop. Uh, and then we're going to make sure that our progress saved and uh, go from there. I'd say that sounds like a plan. And then we'll just try that whole thing from the start. Voila. Kimmy! Kimmy, how are you doing? All right, let's go back to the main menu and we'll just uh, reset and we'll see if it works. See if it worked. Kim, how are you doing? I didn't immediately get a corrupted save notification. Maybe we fixed it. I hope that worked. <laughs> Pooped, had a class today, but it was really good. Not, well, I'm glad it was good. I'm sorry that you're tired, but at least it's Friday. I don't know if today is your Friday, but I, I hope that it is and that you have a nice relaxing weekend ahead of you. I think this worked. Oh, almost jumped over because I thought I had a suit on. All right. All right, let's check. <gasps> Yay! Okay, great. I didn't lose all my progress because losing all of this would have been a pain in the ass. <laughs> I would have been unhappy. All right. Still have class tomorrow and Sunday, um, but you did this to yourself. Uh, it's good though, you're glad you did. Okay. Well then, I am glad too. I can imagine that the work is not very fun though. That is just the moon, right? Yeah, that's just the moon. Uh, da -da -da. where are you? Come on, 
get a little bit closer. Not too close. Just close enough. Oh. That is not it. For a second I thought that that was it. I can't even find the quantum moon. What the hell? Where'd it go? Am I crazy? It must be like... I think I see it there. No, it's gonna go behind, it's gonna go behind Giant Steep and then it's gonna be gone anyways. I can get you from here. I don't know if that's close enough. No, don't go, do not go into the sun. Don't go into the sun, don't go into the sun, don't go into the sun, don't go into the sun. Don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Woo! That was close. That was very close. I knew I played this uh, before we see more people play. It was just added to Game Pass, um, and there was also a DLC launched a couple of months ago, and so I picked up the DLC. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are checking it out now that it's on Game Pass, and that makes me, like, super happy. Because it's such a good game. Ugh, I'm going, like, the wrong way around the sun to try to catch this thing. Because I'm just going to hit the sun again. You know what? We're going to try to go over the sun. Try to come at this thing from above. Why is it so hard? <laughs> I swear, I forgot how to play. Maybe this is also just like the worst location to try to reach the quantum moon from. Here we go, here we go. It's only rocket science. Exactly. All right, we got a nice good picture. ship get out of the ship get down stay on the floor okay or there's the tower let me in giant steep. There we go. Thank you. Alright, alright. No, don't do the thing we did last time. Just stay on the ground. Just stay really close. Check in for this first.
Uh, oh, that's right. I actually have to go to, like, Timber Hearth. That works. There we go. Excellent. Cool. Now, I want to know if there are any weird radio signals. Which I guess there aren't? Hey! It's a little, um... Oh, he has to load all of his things again. These all look the same. I'm not picking up any signals. All right, first idea was a flop. That is okay. They can't all be winners. My ship is definitely gone. Oh! No, nope, let me in. We're gonna get any good information here either. My ship is actually pretty close. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine, it's fine. Oh! <laughs> Normal. It's normal. Hey. If you're wondering what my goal is right now, so am I. I don't know if I can escape the planet's gravity from where I am. So I might just need to meditate to get back to Timber Hearth. Unidentified signal nearby. Well, we've been here. I was really bad at identifying all the signals. It's a satellite. A radio tower. I'm in a hurry. Can I ask you something? Uh, nope. That seems all the same. Not immediately clear. 
Do everyone have the signal identification uh, mechanic works? Yeah, I'm sure I'll figure it out after a minute. She got to troubleshoot it a bit. Let's let's uh, meditate to the next loop, though. Go from there. Walter, you mean I have to use my brain for this game? Oh, God. I wasn't I wasn't ready for my brain to itch. The one thing that does make me sad about constantly meditating to reset the loop is uh, I don't I don't get to listen to the song. I just want to listen to the song. So, okay. For the third time, let's go back to the tower. I also need to get my bearings on, like, where it is on the planet. I need to check the north and south pole next time I, uh, land. So I can find it again pretty easily. There. No? Right now I'm just kind of wandering. Here we go. Uh, another thing I wanted to check is in my rumor log. It does not say that there's more to be found here. That's fine. That's the one that's, that's that satellite. Yeah, I just never did these. <laughs> Put that away for a moment. Like he's got a satellite on his head. Uh, hmm. Angle 137, angle 40. I just want to get back to the end of this message real quick. even strangers that doesn't show up in either of the other photos, just this one. There must have been an equipment malfunction. I'll radio Gabro and ask them to go examine the satellite lens. Where was Gabro even? Trying to remember the names of everybody at each planet. Uh, let's go to the moon real quick. Just real fast.
Tada! Esker. You don't know anything about this, do you? Oh, hey, it's you! Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Talk to you later. Gabro on... Oh, man. Maybe... Giant Steep? Pika! Hello! Oh god, it's gonna throw me into the sun again. Good morning! How are you? Did you have a good rest? Happy Saturday. How's the DLC so far? I've, I've barely done anything. Um, so I can't really speak to it yet. I'm still trying to basically start it. <laughs> oh, way too fast, way too fast. The game is too loud, by the way. Woke up from a nap at 12.30 a.m. Dang. Buy a ship, be good. Oh, I forgot about the gravity on this planet. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I assume you're well rested then. Where'd he go? How do I get over there? Oh, is he back down on the ground level? I've forgotten so much of this game and it hasn't even been that long. There he is. Walked right past him. Gabro! Hey, man! Hey, yo, time buddy. It's a good thing I never get bored of rain, huh? Uh. Da, 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 da. I found something. Nice, nice. What you got for me? I found the source of the time loop. Whoa! Wait, really? The Nomai carved out Ash Twin and built a time loop device inside? That's wild. Now we know what's causing the loop, then. And if it's caused by a device, that must mean it had to be switched on, right? Huh. Hey, what do you think would happen if you turned off the time loop? Like, there's parts of me that thinks maybe you shouldn't. What with that sun blowing up and all. Then again, who wants to spend eternity being blown up by the sun? Well, I'm no time loop expert, but... Uh, I'm just gonna sit here and ponder the intricacies of time and space. Maybe take a nap, too, if I feel like it. Hello... Uh, again. Uh, I found something else. I found a photo of you inside the old radio tower. Haha! -ha. You see that? Making progress. <laughs> Nice. Did I look busy in it? I hope I looked busy. Must have been from the time Hornfells sent me to check up on the deep space satellite. They thought old Spacey might be malfunctioning, but I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it. Which is probably how it got shot, uh, how it got a shot of my beautiful, behelmeted face, come to think of it. I always thought it was kind of sweet, but the best, uh, best way to find old Spacey is to use a map that's generated by the satellite itself, isn't it? Like, it's inviting us to visit. Good old deep space satellite, always making sure we know where we're going. Why'd Hornfells think it was broken? Dunno. Hornfells probably told me why, but Hornfells tells me a lot of things, and sometimes I tune out. Or pretend there's signal interference and I can't hear them. Best guess says the deep space satellite must have sent Timber Hearth some weird pictures, but like, 
what's considered weird for a satellite, you know? Anyway, if you ever want to visit Old Spacey, the fastest way is to jump into your ship and use your solar system map to lock onto the satellite. Same as you would any astral body. Uh, I had way more dialogue options there. I was not ready, ready to be done with that conversation. <clears throat> I have a map! <laughs> I have a map! Uh, yeah. The one that's standard with all our spaces, the one that you have with you at all times and opens up with the press of a button. That map? <laughs> you didn't even get knocked, uh, you didn't conked on the head by a rock or a meteorite or something on the way here, did you? No shame in that. Happens to me all the time. In case you were hit especially hard, don't forget that you can jump the ship, yada yada yada. Uh, okay, maybe I should go back to the satellite. Maybe try taking some pictures from it or something? I don't know. Oh, that's so subtle. Uh, I wanna... Oh. There we go. Oh. Oh, I fell back onto the planet when I wasn't paying attention. Oh, dear lord. Maybe we'll see something different if we look around a little bit more. Maybe actually look towards the sun or something. Grim Boulder, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? I was like, oh shit. Doing okay? Glad to hear it. just starting it yeah oh no yeah i know almost nothing about it actually i'd say i know pretty much nothing about it so i'm still trying to figure it out but we're we're getting there i'm curious if we're going to be able to see something like in the pictures we found that. Ooh. Oh, 157. 
158. So maybe we have to wait for the satellite to be at the uh, at the angle that it was when that weird stuff happened with the picture. Ooh, I bet that's what we have to do. That's my guess. That's my current guess. Um, gonna have the most amazing journey. I am. I am. I've been very excited to play this. A little bit nervous, but very excited. I wish I could remember what... I remember 40 was one of the normal ones, and then it was some of the higher numbers that were... when things got weirder. But I don't remember exactly what number. Orc! Orc, thank you so much for the raid! How are you doing? How is your stream? Here, let me give you a quick shout out. Ooh. There we go. You're doing a workout stream? How'd it go? Did you have a good workout? You're fucking dead, it's like day. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Odin's welcome in. Oh, we got Harvey behind us while we're waiting for the uh the sun to be in position. Harvey's here to say hello also. Just chilling. Taking a nap. It was good to sit for three days straight, hell yeah. I am excited for you. I have been sitting way too long, so I've been sick for the last, like, week in quarantining and haven't been able to go to the gym, and I've been going stir-crazy. The cabin fever is something fierce. 190. I really hope something happens soon. I, yeah, I feel 100%, and tomorrow I'm clear to start going to do normal activities again, so. You motivated to back to working out? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I've kind of, like, remembered, I guess, more than realized, um, that working out and just being active at least a little bit is, is a coping mechanism for me, for my mental health, and it's something that I, like, need to do. Do I know what angle I'm trying to aim for? I don't remember. <laughs> and, uh... I know it was one of the higher numbers. Like, the lower ones were, like, 40. Um, and I thought that it would be silly to go all the way back to Timber Hearth when I was already getting close to the 200s. But maybe I already missed what I need, so maybe I should just go back. I should just get that number rather than just, like, killing time forever. In fact, we'll just meditate just to go back to Timber Hearth. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I was, I, I was having a lot of trouble getting the makeup to look right because I just, I don't know, it was just a weird day. I was like, why does it look right? Did they, like, take some of it off and then put it back on? You need your own flex emotes? Yeah, you do. I'm surprised you don't have any already. I need, like, a circus emote. I need a bird doing, like, a circus trick or, like, a climbing bird. Rock climbing bird. Alright. Let's go. I have a piece of paper. And a pen. Let's write down those coordinates that we need. I also didn't do the thing that I said I was going to do, which was make a note of where on this planet the, uh, that cabin is. But, yeah, it's fine. That's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, these, by the way? I love, I love these. I noticed these at some point, somewhat recently. And, like, I want prints of some of these. Be so good. I 
I remember the first time that, like, when I finished this game for the first time. And I really wanted to get, like, a t-shirt or something from the game. And they just don't have any merch. Like, they used to have merch, and it's all sold out and discontinued. And I'm like... I'd have to like, I'd have to get it on like Redbubble or something. Yeah, right, Walter? Like, I was really disappointed. All right. So this one looks weird. That's angle 350. Angle 40? Okay. Let's write these down. 40 degrees. Two forty-eight is in normal. Okay, so three fifty is weird. I'm just checking. That's the uh, quantum moon there. Okay, so 40 and 350 are both possible weird ones. Let's go there right now and just see what the angle's at. We got this. We can figure this out. Bra big brain time. Right, Harvey? Harvey, you gonna... You ready for big brain? He's like, no, it's nap time. What do you... What? Crazy. Autopilot? Autopilot? What are you doing? Oh shit, there it is. What? What was that? So I guess it would have come around again eventually. It just would have took taken like a fucking age I'm also just You know what I I don't like how eerie this music is. This is fine. <laughs> Do I uh, I guess I guess aliens. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. Um. I 
I'm like, I'm just, I, I just don't even know what to say. I'm just. I know that the DLC gets scary, and I, uh, I just, uh. don't know how I'm going to deal with this. I don't know how immediately we get thrown into scary, but I, I am a... Uh... I did not reduce scares. I left it on default. I've played a couple of scary games. What's happening? I have played a couple of scary games in the past, like Soma, I've played a little bit of Amnesia, and I've played a little bit of Outlast. Um, Soma is like the only spooky game that I've like finished. I'm just like <laughs> so tense and ready for something bad to happen. Whoa! Oh, this is so nice now. I think it's the same. Okay. I'll be fine. I'm a big baby, but I'll be fine. Thought that was gonna pick me up. Wow, this is this is gorgeous. Oh, push raft. These look like little Lego pieces. Like, I'm digging the new music. I tried to land there, but I didn't commit to it, and then missed it. This is just gonna take me like infinitely around, right? It's fine, it's fine. We're just going on a leisurely kayak. We're just seeing the sights. The game was like, ha, ah, scary psych. Ship log updated. I want to go into, like, all these places. Park. Uh, please don't go anywhere. Stay nearby. them. They've got little tree antlers. They're pretty cute. Do 
we have to turn this on first? Is it a projector? That's different. Okay. This reminds me of the um, space station in Interstellar. Let's check this one more time. Okay, I don't think there's anything there yet. This is the same room. Pick up lantern. Ah! So now we need some film or something. Let's look again. What are you? I have questions. Oh, well. It didn't listen. The raft just... just fucked right off. Uh, okay, well... We got the projector working, at least. Let's go to a neighboring house. That looks like a door. Oh. What happens if they're all stunned? Don't know if that changed anything. Still can't read the translation. What? 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 Did that door just open? Was that like that before? Is all the water just draining? Did we chain? Did did we do that? That's my biggest question right now. Is did we cause that? <laughs> That's exactly right, Walter. Uh... That is the correct answer. Okay. Oh, oh God, oh man. <laughs> I need to remember I am not in my spaceship. There we go. We're on a raft. 
Okay, so the speed changed. The speed changed or slowed, actually. The space station might have slowed and therefore the water sped up. But everything is busted now. Let's check out this house that's still standing. Ship log updated. Be nice to know more. Sure. Okay. Oh dear. I'm not just saying that because they have antlers. What you holding? What were you pointing at? don't love this. Why did they all seemingly sacrifice themselves like that? Not a good sign. I see a raft coming up. I kind of want to catch it. There's another building. That is the first sign of, like, actual people we've seen. Oh, yeah, I made it. Peaceful music's back. Everything's fine. We don't have to worry at all. The peaceful music's back. Man, imagine if the entirety of uh, the game, like, wasn't actually spooky. It just, like, was trolling. Like, they're just like, there's gonna be jump scares, you guys. You you can turn down the spook if you're worried. And all it did was, like, light that passageway that we went through. <laughs> uh, let's drop the extra lantern here. They're all lit, which is kind of nice. Is there another one of these that's, like, recessed and we can go into it? Fishing. I like the design of these little goat guys. Alright, alright. Not seeing much there. I don't know if I've been there. Oh. Different projector. Not sure what the deal is with these yet. Oh, look at me! Look at me! Oh, I dislike the downstairs areas. A ring. A ring thing. Give me this. Slide reel. Oh, hell yeah. Don't like that sound. We're not even gonna look at it. Oh, what is it? Yep. 
use interface. No, how do I? Oh my gosh, I can't see a thing. This has been pretty productive. I mean, I feel productive. Oh, it's the song. No, I need five more minutes. Damn it. We've got the eye of the universe. And I don't know what the hell any of this other stuff is. So that's them at the eye of the universe. He's holding something. They're scanning it. Oh my god, it's an owl! Oh, it's so cute! So he saw the end of the universe and became evil. Sorry, I'm going through these really quick. And... And then... That's where we are now. That was a trip. Also, there it looked like... Hold up. We didn't get, like, eaten. What's the deal? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> so, I... I don't have the full picture yet. What I am gathering right now is that they scanned the eye of the universe to predict the future, to see the future, saw the ending of the universe, but it wasn't even the supernova, it was something else from the eye that kills them all. Um, and then they riot. That, that is what I've gathered. Okay. Hey, hold up a sec. Yeah, yeah, I already know about the launch codes. What? No, it was going to tell you about using the ship log to set destination markers for your locations you visited before. It's a brilliant feature, if I say so myself. Dead useful. At the risk of it, uh, risk of it poses shorting out fuel, the fuel regulator causing the ship to explode is so minimal that Gossen would worry about it. How minimal are we talking? Minimal, stars above, you worry too much. If anything's gonna kill you, it's the autopilot. Wow, Slate, how do you, uh, how did you come up with these incredible ideas? Oh, I do the best I can with what I got. Really, you're too kind. This was exceptionally convenient timing, thanks. Sure thing, Hatchling. Anyways, I got out of fire to enjoy. You've got launch codes to grab. Go wild with the marking feature while you're out there. Just uh, try not to follow it so directly you fly into the sun, okay? Yeah, Pyro, we're playing the DLC. How's your night going? Hope you're doing well. So... Oh, I can't open my map yet because I don't have my suit on. Yeah, we found it. We found a place, all right. I'm glad I worked that out. Um, so... I can mark it, is what he was talking about, right? It wasn't like a teleport. Ugh. Right? It's... Not hear the ship log. Oh. 
The stranger. Oh, shit. Hold on. Look at all that. It's like blinking. It's like, for the love of God, you can go here directly. <laughs> Got it. Yes, game. I'm listening. Massive artificial ring world hidden within some sort of cloaking field that does not appear to be Herthian or Nomian in origin. There's an enormous reservoir with wooden piers and buildings on both shores. There's more to explore here. Had a hobby, uh, a lobby, hangout in Discord because you woke up feeling like shit. Oh no. I hope it's nothing serious, Pyro. A low-lying region near the entrance to the stranger. There are wooden buildings along the banks of the river. A pair of small rocky uh, islands connected by a village of still houses. There's more to explore. A slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants analyzing the eye of the universe. Several slides have been burned and cannot be viewed. Irregular stomach being rebellious. Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. There's like, I think there's nothing more inconvenient than stomach pain. It's just, just the worst. Yeah, that is super convenient. I am glad the game like aggressively lets you know that. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Whoopsie daisies. Every. It's. This is bad. Is the core in here gonna like freak out? No. Oh, no, let me out. Come on. Those crashes never get old. All right, ship, are you good? Good enough? They said the autopilot was gonna kill me. They were right. That's a moon, you're not supposed to head but a moon. Oh man. I, uh, I'll, tr I'll try harder next time. I'll do this. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Do I have to go into it from a specific direction? We're gonna find out. Sick. Although maybe we do, because I don't actually see where to go here. Oh wait, here we go. Haha. -ha. So it does matter a little bit, but like not too much. We are just like upside down. There we go. <laughs> just just roll. Roll around. We're good. It's not playing the music this time. I'm just minorly bummed out that, uh... Uh, hello? Oh, there we go. That we can't, um... bring the ship in here. Sometimes you get the urge to headbutt the nearest moon. For me, it's like diving into the sun. Just... That's the urge I get. Yeah, go big or go home. Exactly, Kim. Are we close? Is 
This isn't like I have to time it, is it? It is, okay. <laughs> I just have to time it. All right, we got the dam there. Okay, so the dam is gonna break in 10 minutes. Come on. Ugh. Fine. Fine. All right, I want to dock immediately here. Excellent. Oh, wait, shit. Is this dangerous? It sure is. Okay. Am I I am definitely going to explore it though. Okay. I can go <clears throat> over the water. Oh, sorry, my throat is getting so scratchy. <clears throat> Don't miss me if there's an audio desync. Okay, cool. Glad that that worked. Let me know if there are any issues. For sure. I would like to know. Alright, so that's a no-go. Inside is also a no-go. Over here is okay. Towards the rock is fine, but not elsewhere. Cool. Uh. Not sure what that was. Could have been the... the dam. Come on, let me up. I do want to read those other scrolls. get there when we get there. I might not be able to go in here. Yet. Oh, yeah. Switch. Switch the scout to just take photos right in front. Wait, you can? How do I just take the picture? I thought I had to shoot it and then take pictures. Photo mode. Oh! <gasps> I can't believe I went the entire game without knowing about this. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Oh my god. I... wow. Wow! Okay, so everything here is... Except for when you land too hard, everything over here is fine. This is all fine. But this is not fine. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I can go in from underground. Heck yeah. I mean, I guess I probably could have spotted that from this, but... It's a broken... Thingy, my Bob. Okay, so if I go, don't go on the table. Don't go on the table and don't go to that side. Okay. If I can make it up. Hey! Hey! We made it in. Okay. Let's 
So that's that table there, and then it's that corner. That's like the entrance. Okay, but the rest of this area we can explore. Hey, me! Specifically that. Already holding an artifact. Are we playing Death Stranding? Can I pick things up with this? We have this now. I don't know what to do with it, but we have it. You're getting hungry? Friendship, what is on the menu? Heard the door open. Artifact does not fit. What is is do my little grabby hands not not work for this? Well, that's weird. I could have just walked in here. I didn't even need to open the secret door. But now we know how to open those other doors. That's weird. All right, we did the door tutorial. We can now open doors. play that game 12 minutes. I haven't. I've been curious about it because it is an Annapurna published game. I've heard very mixed things. Nickens, hello! Oh my gosh, welcome in! The Nickest Nick, hello, Beast92. What were you, oh my gosh, Hyro, can we get a, uh, a shout out for Nickens here? Extra brain dead hello. My gosh, what were you playing? Is that the friendly pyro? It sure is. And thank you for getting that um getting that shout out. I already got it for me. You're the best. You're the best. Nick is Nick, thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, the, uh, um, 
let me pause it for a second so we don't run the clock. Um, if you have not played this game before, this is called Outer Wilds. It is an exploration space game, and we are currently playing the DLC. Um, I absolutely adore this game. It's on Game Pass right now. So if you're curious about checking it out, I highly, highly recommend it. I will say that if you have any interest in playing it yourself, be very cautious about how much you watch, because once you learn something in the game, it's very spoilable. Like, once you've learned something, you can't have that moment of discovery for yourself. So just, just something to keep in mind. But if that, if that doesn't apply to you, I'm very happy to have you here. So... Thank you again for that raid. Sea of Thieves! Yeah, that does have a really pretty art style. I've seen a lot of posters for it. Um, like, I've seen a lot of art for it, but I haven't played it myself, but I'm very curious about it. But how was League of Legends? Did, did you have any good... have any good runs? Uh, okay, so we're back in here again. I can't really do much. Uh, that really missed it when I was wrong. I, I miss things very often. And I assume with my internet that there's a pretty solid lag. Um, let's check out this building over here. I also need to be very careful not to take any damage, because if I take any damage, I'm gonna die immediately. That's the eye. Refuel jetpack, hell yeah, nice. Playing some Rust before that. How do you like Rust? That's another game that's like on my list to check out, but I haven't actually played it myself. want to play a game that you can play with me and Pyro. Oh, that'd be so much fun. Yes, Stardew would be great. Um, let me think. What other, like, good multiplayer games are out there right now? Um, I really want to play It Takes Two, but that is just a, a, a much harder to figure out. Unknown, unknown language still. I tried to play It Takes Two with Alley Cat uh, a couple days ago, but we were just having so, so many tech issues, unfortunately. I was really disappointed. Um, but I used to be really big into StarCraft Two, and I'm always like excited to just dip into it. Oh wait, I recognize this. This was from that slide. This was that building from the slide. This is, the, this is a temple. I get it, okay. You played it before you, but you played it again in a heartbeat. Mm. Noted. Let's let's move on a little bit. You start playing Rust back in the legacy days. Dang. Oh, oh, I'm. I never claimed to be good at StarCraft 2. Let's make that abundantly clear. <laughs> I, uh, at, at my best, at my absolute best at StarCraft, I was, um, Silver League. <laughs> I was, I was one step above terrible. <laughs> um, but it was a multiplayer game that I played a fair amount. I played a lot of Hearthstone, too. But again, I never really got very good at it. Alright, this is not bumper cars. Um, we did go here. But that's not really where I'm interested in going. I want to find that other house again that had more in it. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Do incredible foundation for controlling a, a MOBA character now. That's that's fair. Once you kind of have a grasp of like RTS games or um, R RTS or like 4X games, 
it, it helps a lot. Uh, I think this is where I was. Yeah, this was it. I want to know if I can pick any of these things up. Oh, no, these are what they're holding. Crabby? This guy has, like, weird amulets. Maybe some kind of royalty? Uh, Dr. Friendship, you stopped playing League. You played Star uh, Empire, you played StarCraft, but not good at it. StarCraft is a hard game. Like, it it's kind of easy to forget because it's old now, but StarCraft was so hard. There was, like, nothing else like it when it came out. It was, like, uh, it was it was so big. Um, you're gonna queue for another League game. Uh, send you DM so we can figure out a uh, game for It Takes Two or something. Yeah, yeah, or Stardew would be great, too, because we can get m more people in there uh, if we want to play with Pyro. So, definitely, yeah, hit me up on Discord. Um, cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll chat. Thanks again for that raid. I really, really appreciate it. It was really kind. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see. One of my goals is gonna be on the next loop to come back here and check out the um, dam before, uh, before it explodes. Like, try to get on top of the dam. You're no you. <laughs> okay, okay. Um oh, okay. I guess I hit that rock a little bit too hard. <laughs> Enjoyed StarCraft 1 for the massive campaign. StarCraft 2 was disappointment because the story was like four hours tops. It's funny, I never actually finished the StarCraft 2 campaign. I, I think I played it, I played it a lot. Like I did a good number of missions, but I really didn't want to play as Terran. I just did not like Terran. I wanted to play as Zerg all the time. And even Protoss, I was like, like they're interesting. But I didn't like how expensive everything was. I, I liked how in Zerg you just got a million resources and everything was dirt cheap and you could just print millions of troops and then just hurl them at enemies. Whereas Protoss, it's like you have to be very selective about what you make and you have to be really careful about what the other people are making. And even Terran too, you have to, you have to do a little bit more macro. Um in terms of decision making, whereas as Zerg, I kind of had a set rhythm that just worked for me. And I know that that's, that doesn't keep you from progressing. Like, I was never gonna level up by just doing the same thing over and over again, but I was never really trying to rank, you know? I just, I, I almost always played against the PC most of the time. Uh, okay, so what, what was new? What did I get? That's the same. Several ornate metal artifacts inside a workshop surrounded by ghost matter. Uh, did I not mark it? I thought I marked it. Oh, oh, hey, sick. That's cool. How, how am I not selecting it, though? Oh. It is marked. Never mind.
Oh, it's your big age start. Yeah. Had um, 30 hours of campaign for each faction. It was a small campaign. Yeah, just for one. Yeah. And, like, you got to play a little bit of the other ones, but, like, barely. I think the campaign also just, like, I don't know. It didn't interest me all that much. And I know that they did a bunch of DLC for, like, everybody else. But that also just did not really appeal to me. I did not end up picking up any of the StarCraft II DLC. Alright. I got my suit on. I like that this game, I wouldn't expect it to, but I like that this game didn't just plop, um... Oh, I missed it. Uh, it didn't just plop a bunch of, uh... Damn it. Ha! Didn't just, like, plop a new planet in the solar system and was like, here's your DLC, go get it. They gave you little hints. Don't remember any campaign for the other factions, but it was also years ago. Yeah, I think it was only, um... You know what? I see something. I see a ladder over there. And I wonder if I can get there. Uh, well, not, not if I miss the ramp. It's fine. There it goes. I don't need it. I want to go over here anyways. They also made an in-universe explanation for why you wouldn't have noticed all this before. Yeah, I love it. I wouldn't expect anything less. Does make me nervous backing into a room. I'll I'll just just say. Oh, that made me nervous. just ready for something to scare the ever-living shit out of me. Okay, this is just another entrance. Yeah, it's, it's like a cool mechanic, but it also is just, like, a little horrifying. This is gonna drop me down, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is all very familiar. This is exactly how I got in before. So I just picked a different door. Oh! That picks me up when I'm in a uh, raft. That's good to know. Cool. Well, we're here now. Now what? Oh, where? Where was that room with the basement? That is... That is the question. Yeah, the lanterns. Like, the design of this whole area is just cool. Everything about it is just really cool. Um... Oh yeah, I remember this area. 
but I don't recall there being a place to go down. Let's try that. There's so many buildings to explore. I love it. It's awesome. Okay, okay. I'll probably need one of these. But I have to find some of the things with the rings first. Hey, there's the sun. Okay. Uh, let's go hop on that raft and try to... Ugh. Spooky. If that's like our timer, if that's like the it's been five minutes, that is uh, alarming. I wonder if next time we loop, we should just immediately get in the raft and just try to go all the way around to get to the top of the dam. Is this where that... Where was the projector room that had the rings in it? It was one that didn't get destroyed, I don't think. You know what, just, just drop me off here. Um, and this was, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm a, I'm a silly, unable to pinpoint location. All right, never mind. I was like, maybe I can go into the log and I'll find the place where I was at. Like, I don't think it was that one. This didn't have anything. Yet. Okay, okay. Let's go back down. We do not have very long. Oh, we can like see it breaking. It's cool. The attention to detail in this game is something that I just think is uh like unmatched. Um Lag spike? I'm green on my end. Let me know if it continues. Okay. Better now? Okay, good. Ooh, there's a little cave. for you, Walter? Okay, cool. I will not worry about it for now. going. Ooh, 
Ooh, we got a new... A new thing. Okay. Hold on to this. This seems more important. I might need both. If I coincidentally brought a lantern and this thing where it needs to be, I'd be happy. What's this? What does it mean? Hydrate. I got you. Or you got me. Thank you for the hydrate. Heading to bed, Kim. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will catch you at your next baking stream. Are you doing one this weekend? Before you go, if you want to plug your baking stream, please do. Because it is a joy to watch on a Saturday morning. Uh, I don't know what these mean yet. I'm sure we'll find out at some point. Um, at least now we know how to get here. Uh, I would love to jump down, but I don't want to die. Um, here we go! Uh, okay. Ha! Didn't die. Take that, gravity. Um, would that go in the room with the project? The one that the artifact couldn't fit in? Yeah, it might. Um, it def well, it definitely could. So this is like a projector ring. Um, we found one previously, uh, but we just need somewhere to put it. But that's about to happen, which is what I was nervous about, and all these are about to be underwater. Here it comes. Oh no, oh no, I thought I'd make it. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna be, be so swept away. Here we go. Just, just don't die. Ankles intact. Uh, is that electricity? <sighs> I would like to get on here, please. Oh. Oh! Safety. safety. Yeah, if we hit anything else, we're dead, but... Uh, is that like a bell? Huh. I'm curious about that. I really like when a game answers questions with more questions. I think that not enough games do that. Or just like media in general, they'll ask questions, but then you just find an answer. <gasps> and then you just move on like, okay, I answered that question, now next answer. But this game, it's just like, ha! You, you wanna learn stuff? Joke's on you. I 
diving bell. What's a diving bell? Okay, so... Did we do it? Did we do a full loop? I think we may have. Which is weird because it doesn't feel like we did a full loop. Or maybe the loop is just a lot shorter than I than it looks. Uh, that was no, I was going the I wanted to go this way. Because there's a projector in here. Fuel level critical. Ha! I was so worried we weren't gonna make this. Wait, what? Oh no, we need a lantern. Uh, the only reason it's working is because of my flashlight, then I can't change it. But there are lanterns over here! Oh, come on. Oh god. Oh good god. Come on. Go up. Up, up, up. Can't waste the fuel. Oh, we just need to make sure we have enough to get back. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Okay. Lantern. I'm so scared about time. That's fine. Oxygen is fuel is fine. Don't care. Just gotta get up. No, 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 no. Okay, please, please, please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Wait, did the lantern go out? Shit, the lantern can't get wet. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck me. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This, ah, uh, I'm so mad. We're gonna have to go back and do the whole thing again. Damn it. Uh, we're not gonna be able to do it on this loop. Because that's just not enough propulsion to do it. Um, a diving bell is a rigid chamber used to transport divers from the surface to the depth and back in open water. Interesting. Right down with air stuck inside. Interesting. I didn't even know that. That's, that's really fascinating. Yeah, no jetpack boost with O2. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so bummed out. Okay, well, it happens. We can at least explore this, like, church a little more. Wait! Ha! Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Joke's on you, game! Neener, neener, neener. I found jet fuel. And then the music's gonna start and it's and I'm gonna cry. Yeah, I gotta get the lantern. Come on. Maybe that's why there's so many lanterns here. <laughs> I'm so relieved. I really didn't want to go, th like, uh, try to get that reel again because I just don't 100% know where they are. <laughs> Use interface. Okay. We've got maybe our chief guy walking, our king. That's him. Okay. He's either wearing a hood or their design changes. He's pointing at the Saturn looking planet. Oh, he's holding one of the things. 
Ooh, okay. You turn out the lights and you can walk through there? Cool, okay, if we take all the lanterns out, we might be able to walk through. That's cool. You know what? I bet we have time to give that a shot right now. Was it this, that one? That's the only one that has the, uh, thing. Just put all the lanterns outside. So it's the one on the right. Or it could have been one of the ones in another area. Maybe I can just... I'm so disoriented. Oh, just five more minutes! I want to drop this lantern. another one of these rooms. It actually, I can't get in because of my angle. Fuck. Come on, come on. I could go in from the bottom, but we're about to run out of time anyways. Let me out. I know that this is like not worth doing because the <laughs> we're about to lose everything, but all right, so we can go through several of those paintings, not just the one that we stumbled across. Um, this one is down. Holy crap. A GTP Titan. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. I am, I, am, I like, I can't believe we've had so many raids tonight. It's awesome. <laughs> Tips of the nips. What a name. Welcome in. Titan, how was your stream? Welcome in. Thank you again so much for that raid. I really appreciate it. What were you playing? That felt like a very productive loop, by the way. I'm like overwhelmed by this game. It was good. You played some Gloomhaven and then Zombie War 4 DLC. Hell yeah. Are you doing, you're doing main campaign Gloomhaven, right? Because I played a little bit of uh, Jaws of the Lion, maybe about half, about half of Jaws of the Lion. And um, I thought it was, I really like it. I need to finish it. Um, Finding the jetpack fuel was clutch. It it was. Also, let me get this shout out going right here. Cool. All right. Y'all, please, if you're not already, go check out Titan's channel. Loves playing some Gloomhaven. I think you do some mini painting and stuff too, right? Always a good time. I love lurking in your stream. Sorry, I'm like I'm so uh, uh, a little discombobulated from this from this game. Everything has been a little bit overwhelming and in like the best way, and I'm loving it. 
creative creeper thank you so much for the follow you don't do minis okay good to know good to know Clar clarification i wasn't sure whenever i see gloomhaven i'm like ooh, minis minis because <laughs> i painted my uh jaws and the lion minis this game is super trippy it is have you played outer wilds at all it's a good intro to the games. Yeah, and I, I really need that. Because <laughs> I'm so new to Gloomhaven that anything uh, beyond... Um, anything beyond Jaws is, like, a little daunting. Like, I wouldn't be able to set the game up myself, you know? Because there's just so many... Uh, so many parts. Can't do hydrate. I'm going to have to get some more water. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, creative. Do you prefer creative or creeper or 39? <laughs> Let me know. Creative. I see Titan refers to you as creative. There's an app for that. Yeah, I have seen that. And I, I know it's on like tabletop sim and stuff too, but there's like really good apps for building it out. Actually, coincidentally, um, my room is not that much of a disaster. Oh, I've got another cup of water right here. Hell yeah. Uh, I have got a board game set up that... Let me, actually, you know what? Let me read this and then pause it so I know I'm not running the clock. Hold on. Uh, a tower that sits atop one of the cinder aisles. The upper floors can only be reached from a second entrance at the back of the tower. Uh, I found a slide reel that shows the stranger's inhabitants opening a secret passage in a round room filled with lanterns and murals. The inhabitants are shown uh, filing into three of these rooms throughout the stranger. Very cool. Okay. All right, pause. Um, uh, um, yeah, so some I'm starting to get into some more complicated tabletop games, but it's still been like a lot to grasp. So I've got Sleeping God set up on my table over here. Ugh. Uh, there you go. We're almost done with the uh, first playthrough of the campaign, and it is awesome. It's really cool. It's hard. <laughs> it's a little bit hard, but I really like it. Um, uh, but I also am just a sucker for some of the the Ryan uh, Lockhart games. Just they're they're just so pretty. It's really hard to go wrong. Okay. We're going back. This time, all right, I know that there was another reel and I saw it for like a split second when we were over there. Oops. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I I can't get over how this game trolled us by making the uh the entrance so scary. <laughs> the music to this area. Um you got a game table a while ago, uh, with a vault so you can leave a big game set up and then cover it. Crazy. Oh god. I want that so badly. Um as you could see. When I have this game table set up, uh, it, sorry, this is like the worst angle. It takes up the entire room. So if I want to leave my room, I have to scoot the table in like any direction I need. I, hold, hold on. <laughs> I'm making a mess of this. A mess. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, goals is, is to eventually get one of those, one of those tabletop tables because they're just... Un unreasonably cool. Um. Okay, so I kind of want to get to the top of this. Let's commit to it. You know what? I, I am curious. Let's commit to it.
And I know that some of the scrolls that I found, like, the first area that we found scrolls, there were two of them, and we only had time to read one. So, uh, but I saw them. Uh, did I solve the puzzle with the item that move when you look at them? Yes, I did. The doors. We, we finished the door tutorial. I can open and close doors. <laughs> It sounds funny when I say it, or, or, or sounds obnoxious when I say it like that, but um, that, that was what it felt like. It felt like a little door tutorial. But I haven't explored very many yet. Is this going to kill me? Are these electric lines going to kill me? No, not yet. Cool. looks like the dam. I got my certification in opening weird alien doorknobs. <laughs> I like that. And yes. Yes, we did. Oh, I wonder if that's that bell. Oh, you know what I'm realizing? I mean, I guess this just makes sense. But when the dam breaks, the water level in this area goes down, whereas everywhere else it goes up. No! Come on! Damn it. Come back. It's my turn. No, come on. Come on. So, Titan, you've played the DLC as well as the base game? I'm glad, because I would be- I'd be a little sad if you were getting spoiled right now. Uh, excuse me. Can I make it up? Oh. Oh, well, don't fuck this up for myself. Jesus. I got in I got impatient at the last second. Just Oh god, damn it. Okay, okay. Back. Oh, you've not. You didn't finish the main game, moved on to other things. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Just wasn't your cup of tea. Fair enough. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. I'm trying to remember that more now because it's very easy for me to be like, this is the best game and everyone should play it. <laughs> and everyone should love it. But it's that's just that's just not how it goes. Oh, I don't wanna no no no, I wanna stay up I wanna stay up here. No, damn it. Fuck I didn't realize that it would do that. Oh, I feel like a big dummy. Well, now I know how that works. That's fine. Just got more information for next time. God, I love this music. Oh, you played it on my recommendation? Aw. If you told me that already, I'm I'm sorry I forgot. I I'm the I'm the worst with memory like that. Third tries the charm exactly. So we've been in that door. There was another like secret door. in here. Been out of touch. Yeah. Gotcha. I feel like that's... I mean, I know I've, like, was barely on Twitch the last week. I, I've been doing a lot of lurking on Twitch lately instead of, like, actually engaging in people's streams and stuff. Uh, 
Um, I just like haven't had ha the energy lately. Um, like I know I had COVID this past week, but like even before that a little bit, I was kind of getting real tired. Oh shit, these ones have blue fire in them. <laughs> Interesting, okay. So we have a place here that I can pass time if I want to take a nap with a bunch of dead guys. Yeah, Titan, I hope that everything you've got going on is good. And, uh... Yeah. I, I feel... This is a, a bit of a side rant. Not really a rant. Just a side observation that I've made. Um, I think things are returning to normal, at least in the U.S., and I don't want to linger on like COVID stuff too much. I don't, I don't just, I want, at least for the, the people who need it, I want Twitch to be an escapism from that garbage that we to deal with all the, all the time. However, things have started to go back to normal, at least where I am. Um, however, the world's not ready for that yet, which means that when there's some sort of obstacle that keeps people from being able to go back to the things that everyone else is saying, yeah, you should be able to do these things now. It's like way harder to mentally grasp and like adjust to. Like the, the letdown of no longer being able to do those things is way harsher than the first time, if that makes sense. So that's something I've been struggling with a little bit of like, trying to remember that we still have to be as safe and take as many precautions as we were previously, but now society is making it harder. And that's... It's not fair. It's not fair, and... Uh, it's not, not, not fun. But, uh... It's what we have to deal with for right now anyways, I guess. I hope that made sense. But that's all I'll say about it. Um, you got a new promotion at work. Well, I'm, that sounds like a pretty good reason to not be on Twitch as much. Congratulations on your promotion. Was it this house? Maybe? I remember that the reels and stuff were underwater. What? I need a lantern. I need to look at this more closely. Oh, it's like directions to get in from the back. Cool. You want more streaming time? Had to cut stream short today since they are in desperate need of a closer. Oh, that sucks. Oh, here we go. So, this one I don't think I have used. Man, this is like a library. Like, there could have been so many. Uh... Just heard the dam break. So let's see. 
let's actually just wait a second before we move. Because up here we're, we should be safe. And then everything will just come down to our level. Got a jet to work. Have a good rest of the stream. Thank you so much for the raid, Titan. I hope that work goes by fast for you and it's not uh, too much of a drag. And I will catch you around. Ooh, almost didn't make that because I hit the wrong button. But yeah, like, I don't know, I took some time off uh, from work for the holidays and stuff, and I was like, I'm gonna stream so much, and then I just didn't get to it. All right. Oh, okay. I swear, if something comes up behind me. Interesting. 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 Okay. Okay. I guess now we can access some more stuff over there. The aesthetics of this remind me so much of Mist, also. Maybe it's just like the water and the temples and stuff that are making me think of it, but... Is this the... The one where it says to enter from the back, or is it a different one? Unsure. Because we did do the entrance from the bottom. Um, I think I can make it to that raft. I got pretty close. Pro gamer. First try. Ugh. This was nearby where I wanted to go before. was AFK for a sec, I decided not to look at the new slide rule. I did look at it. Yeah, I looked at the new slide reel. Um, ooh. I want to go over there. Okay, so I have a reason to check out the um, dam now. So the, the slide reel that I saw, so I had seen one of them previously. Um, the new one that I saw was of a big statue with like a chain on it and there was a guy like just eerily standing there yeah um but i looked at that one and i think i had already seen the other one so i didn't bother so this i'm gonna have to come back at the, at the top of the loop Oh, I missed my ship. I also, like, I am just, I'm so ingrained in this right now, just... FYI, like, 
I want to just keep playing. But I should probably get ready for pet soon. Um, I'm... I'm just enjoying this so much. It's been a while since I've, like, really dug into a game. I should say dug into a game and it, like, just really rocked my world. Because the I played The Pathless recently, and I really, really enjoyed it, but it wasn't, like, a game-changing game. It's... Poor choice of words. But it wasn't, like, groundbreaking. Um. No sleep. Only questions. Yeah, I'll finish this loop, at least. Oh, this was that door that I tried to get into and couldn't. Oh, well. Oh, shit! We got another reel! Alright. I know where we can put this. Come on, come on. We can make it, we can make it, we can make it. We just have to get close enough. If we go straight to the other building, it already has a lantern and everything set up. If we can just get there, then we don't have to like search buildings and try to find a working projector. Uh, but what was I saying? Right, I loved, uh, I loved the pathless, and I even I gave it a, a really great rating um, when I reviewed it. Um, but it didn't do too much to make me really think. It was kind of a mindless experience, which is, which totally has its merit. I really enjoy a game that you can just turn your brain off, you can put on TV in the background, and just, just enjoy. Um, but I was really looking forward to something like this that is very thank you uh wait shit this is the wrong one it's fine oh that's that's the loop we can we can make it we can make it we can make it oh not if we're going up current Critical, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. got like a cell kind of thing or an explosion. I'm just gonna run through these real quick. We can always try to find it again, but more cell things. I see people. Could also be burned. People on top of the building. They're what what's in there? Okay. That's the bell. Oh, so we want to get under the bell. What's under there? One of each of the symbols plus something in the middle. This is like corrupted, I think. All right.
Sick. And we have a great place to start off for the next stream because we will go to the dam and we'll go to that hidden building. So we've got some great, great places to, to start off. Um, sick. Well, thanks everybody for hanging out. I'm really excited to play more of this. Um, uh, before I say my thanks, I'll say if you stick around for the raid, you'll get bonus channel points, which you can use to um, make me give cats treats and uh, vote for games that I play in the future. Right now we've got getting over it up there for, for channel points. Um, what, what was what was that? Did you see that? Was that the probe? Whatever. Um, we'll come back to this. <laughs> Walter, thank you for hanging out. Titan, thank you for the raid. Um, uh, uh, oh my gosh. Orc, thank you for the raid. Critical hits. And Nickens, thank you for those raids. Really, really appreciate it. I, I was blown away, blown away by everyone today. And it was, it was awesome. Um, you've had this up in your side monitor for so long. Explain, like I'm five, what the heck is going on? <laughs> so, um, really quick, I'll give you the quick TLDR. Outer Wilds uh, takes place in a universe where you can navigate the star system and land on every planet that you see. You can go anywhere. Um, and the sun keeps going supernova, and then you wake up the, the, uh, after the supernova, and it, it resets. Um, and you don't know why. So the, the original game of Outer Wilds is exploring, trying to figure out clues as to why this is happening. And if there's any anything else that you can learn from it. If I tell you anything else, it would be like immense spoilers. So I, if you have been watching me fiddle around in here and you're curious, uh, it's on Game Pass. The base game is on Game Pass. I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, that's my, my quick elevator pitch of Outer Wilds. It's a game that rewards uh, experimentation and big thinking. Um, it really tries to get you to try different things. It's really cool. Really like it. Um, <laughs> by Ray or Ray <laughs> or just Re, <laughs> as I mentioned in that other, oh God, whoever's chat that was. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Beat it in five minutes, babe, to learn how to do it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and so it's like, if you watch the ending and you learn how to beat it in five minutes, then it's like, all right, well, I guess I can just explore for exploration's sake, but yeah. All right. Thank you everyone for hanging out. Really, really appreciate it. Let me see who is available for a raid, because I definitely want to pass it along. Let's see. <laughs> 